Harry Maguire. We got seven minutes to go. We're three 0 down. It's four. Oh my God, we're losing four 0 Last time out was Germany versus England, and I was with a friend who was very, very drunk. Can I just say, it's seven hours to kick off. <laughs> well, it's just whatever time kick off is minus seven hours. We were two lads out in Munich wearing bucket hats for the first time ever, and I feel like we now want to adopt the idea of wearing it for every single England game, and Ryan wearing a mask of the Queen. So, yeah, we're going England versus Hungary at Molyneux, aka Wolves Stadium, wearing the famous bucket hats because this is going to go all the way with me to Qatar eventually in November, and we may even have a pit stop at Binley Mega Chippies and please do not blame me on this it was my dad's idea I never thought I'd say this, but here I am at Binley's Mega Chippy. I've got some battered sausages and chips. The only reason I'm here is because my dad wanted to go here. A little pit stop before getting to Wolves. It's on the way for us. We live near Norwich, so it's on the A14. You know, down the motorway. It's quite easy. And now I can say I've been to Binley's. Arrived in Wolves. I'm having a pint, but who am I with? It's Queen Liz, but it's not Queen Liz. This is Queen And still now. How, how long till kickoff, Ryan? Yeah. I think it's worth time kickoff is minus two hours. Thanks for clearing it out. Run it past the Germans, score in number two. He looks good. He looks good. He looks fine. We've got to win tonight. Three games every game. We'll win tonight. Shit. Two nil. We need to score an open play, don't we? Yeah. Desperately. Yeah. Just yeah. need to score. Freedom. Freedom. Harry Kane hat trick. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's going to pop world. It's going, it's going to go pop world if he scores a hat trick. What are we doing? We're a mess. Sorry for interrupting, but this video is kindly sponsored by the guys over at OneFootball. If you want live scores, live news, live up-to-date transfer rumours, then this app has got you covered. So let's go onto the transfer talk page on the app and see what's going on. So like Pogba here, he's going to be going to Juventus, but it's just a waiting for confirmation, a waiting managers, etc. Bayern Munich, they're very, very close to signing. Sadio Mane from Liverpool was on fire last season. Lewandowski, his future is in doubt obviously where's he gonna go who knows or will he just stay at Bayern for another season we'll find out very soon you scroll on to the Brighton transfer news page now and you got Brighton to welcome new signing Julio Ncisco this week he's an absolute wonder kid from Paraguay he's very young but I'll tell you what he's gonna be doing wonders for Brighton in the next few years we signed some ballers and I'll tell you what I reckon he'll be another one even though I've never seen him play ever in my life and all round it's got the matches upcoming for everywhere around the world this app is absolutely ideal for any football fan and it's free to download iOS or Android Hit that link in the description and download this app. One football have you covered on absolutely everything, so go check it out. Now let's go to Molyneux. Let's not forget Harry Kane hat trick and my dad's in Pop World later. Pop World. Okay, we've got just under an hour until kickoff. Yeah, the teams are out. Maguire's on the bench. That's all I can really remember. Saka starting. That's all that matters. I know I said it the other day, but I was lying. But today I'm not lying. Saka is going to score a hat trick. Queen's delusional. I'm telling you, the Queen is not. Delusional. Molyneux Stadium, right front versus Hungary. It's going to be a difficult game due to the lineup we put out. It's very similar to the one in the away leg at the Puskas Arena. Am I confident? I've got to say no after how we performed and us not really scored an open play. But I'm going to say we're going to win 1 0. I'll tell you what, as well, it's not a bad stadium, is it, Ryan? It's not bad. No, not at all. I quite rate this. I've never been around it. I've been here before, but now I'm going walking around it, it looks quite decent. Molyneux, here we are. Oi! Queen Liz. This was fake. Fake? Yeah. Honestly, I've never gassed about a view at a football stadium as much as this for a long time. Look at the view we've got here. The away end, obviously, up there. I've been to the, the Budapest derby, which has been great, and obviously, hungry fans will be up in the corner over here. But what stadium this is, and look how close we are to the pitch as well. I'll tell you when contenders are being on TV here, but this is a great view to watch some football. Is it a really an England home game when this song doesn't come up? But well, it is today. Sweet Caroline. Here come the teams then, England versus Hungary. Big game, need a three points if we want to take this Nations League seriously. One of the final games before the World Cup as well, let's remember. We need to score some goals today, seriously.
It didn't take long till Hungary set off a pyro. We went to the Budapest derby and it was full of it. Here we go. Games over. Oh my god, he's blocked it. And it's England's number nine singing. Right past the Germans, scoring number two. We just keep featuring on TV everywhere we go. We can't help it. Can't help the bucket and the Queen's mask. We kick to Hungary. Oh, it's not bad, you know. Oh, he's missed it. Oh my god, we're losing. I can't believe this. These hungry fans must be loving it. They've made the journey and I bet it's worth it right now. Oh my days. It's a ball. Header. Is, is that the keeper? Who is shooting? What a save. I wonder why. It's just the I was watching the game, Ryan. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen better. I've seen worse. You just seen a white bag, mate. <laughs> Half time. Booze. It has not been great. Right, and the players are going to be walking back onto the field right now. Jude Bellingham by himself. Oh, it's nearly perfect. It was nearly perfect, to be fair. Hey, Glenn! James. Ball's in. Oh, what a move! Walker shoot, someone shoot. Okay, you know, I wouldn't mind you shooting. Oh, Andy Carroll. We're actually 2 0 down. We're 2 0 down to Hungary. This is really bad. Really, really bad. I've really got no words. Performance has been diabolical. We're 2 0 down to Hungary. We're one of the favourites to win the World Cup. We haven't scored an open play in the last four games. Ball's in. Yes! Oh my god! We can't score an open play. We've got players we have. These fans must be having an away day of their lives. Fair play. They've been loud all game. Surely. Sterling. Fate. It's just, what? It's a ping ball. There we go. Sucker. Yes. Oh my days. It's a fill. Off the bar by Harry Kane. Unacceptable. The talent we have in this squad. They can't even score an open play in the last four games. 3 0 up home from England. I've got no words at this point. John Stones has got a red card. John Stones has got a second yellow, red card, 10 men. We said we're going to down to Hungary. What more do you want me to say? He's about to bring Harry Maguire on. Harry Maguire? We've got seven minutes to go. We're 3 0 down. Yeah, we'll bring on another centre back. I don't care if it's a red card. Are you serious? We've got about six right backs on the pitch anyway. Have we ever seen a more embarrassing home force than that? It's bad. This is the worst. Look at the amount of empty seats around, especially this stand here. They're all gone. This was full at kickoff. This could be four. It's four. Oh my god, we're losing 4 0. 4 0. Can you believe what you're watching? We should be one of the contenders to win the World Cup. Win. One minute's added on. This could be the comeback. It's not the comeback. Here's the final whistle. Bad. Really bad. Really bad. I never like being negative. I honestly, that's the last thing I want to be. After watching that, after watching that, that is bad. Embarrassing. Seriously, can't believe what I witness I'm on on you tonight. Guy, at least he's saying sorry. Bellingham, he's clapping the fans. Harry Kane's walking over. They've got to come over and at least applause. He was saying sorry though, guy, and I rate that, I respect that. There's only one positive, that's not going pop well. Nothing will take away with how Hungary did, I say, destroy us. They had more heart, more desire, 4-0.
and the fans have been amazing, I must admit. Okay, so it's the morning after the game. I've kind of recovered from that monstrosity of a performance. It wasn't good, and we all know that. But on reflecting on it, we've got to remember that we got a World Cup, and we've got to get behind the team. Southgate will be our manager. He's not going to be leaving. We've got two games before the World Cup. We need to get behind the lads. No matter what happens, we've got to go into the World Cup positive. And despite that being su such a negative environment in the stands, 4-0 to Hungary, it is a disgrace. We're England. We should be competing for the World Cups and all these major tournaments. Don't get me wrong. In the Nations League, a lot of them are saying, a lot of people and pundits are saying that oh, we shouldn't be taking Nations League seriously. It's friendly. The players are tired and all that. And I don't think that's an excuse. It really is not an excuse if you ask me. Hungary did play very well, I must admit, and they demolished us 4-0. I, I just can't believe saying that right now that that was an actual scoreline for England. At home, Molyneux. Now it's the first game for a while that obviously England fans have had a whole backing in the whole stadium. So it's disappointing about the fans have been treated like this. The amount of money we have to pay to get to these grounds, the tickets we have to pay for. It's like, come on now, a bit more effort needs to be shown and especially not scoring one open play goal in four games. I don't care if it's Nations League or friendlies or not, that is worrying. Despite what happened in the stands and the chance, I'm always Southgate in. I'm going to the World Cup, I'm going to Qatar, and it's not like I'm going to go to Qatar being so negative and Southgate and all that. There's not a chance, and I've never really been Southgate out either. Bringing Harry Maguire on when we're 3-0 down, I mean, that, that was an absolute diabolical tactical decision, I must admit, because... Even we bought Harry Maguire and we still conceded. But either way, what is done is done. We've got to move on from Hungary. We've got to be positive going into the World Cup, going into Italy versus Germany. We've got to treat them two games like we're in the World Cup because I tell you what, we need positive results. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. I'll be at Italy away and I'll be at Germany at home. Then World Cup, obviously. I'll be at every single England game like I always am. I'll see you guys later. Leave a like, subscribe. God, I'll see you later, guys.